Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about global lab update for 8 September 2023 maintenance update. But be noticed, all content on this global lab video was recorded on global lab server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server next week maintenance update. And following outside Korea server, if they or the feel this content or the ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle. And also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official official website for global lab update at 8 September 2023. Okay, first future update, they will give one more face preset, specially for Ranger, Tamer, and Musa class. And this is how it look for this new face, either for Musa, Ranger, and Tamer. And next about class balancing, on this week global lab update, there are no class balancing. They just fix some issue for Berserker, Valkyrie, Striker, Corsair, Ninja, and Sets class. Okay, the next feature update is about ocean content. And on this note, they just mentioned they will reduce duration to craft ship and all this change will affect for building duration for Karak ship. Okay, first future change about duration to craft Sunset Blackstone. And about the Sunset Blackstone, this is enhancement material for Blue Gear Karak or Panoxeon. And in future, they will reduce work duration to craft the Sunset Blackstone from any workshop. So you can craft the Sunset Blackstone more faster using your worker. And this is detailed information about the Sunset Blackstone working time reduction. That they will cut this workload to become 33% only from before. And this reduced workload will apply for any workshop either at Ilya Island and Nampo Moodle Village. And take notice when this update come, if you still craft this Sunset Blackstone during maintenance when this update come, this work will instantly finish and will continue to craft another piece for the Sunset Blackstone. Okay, next they also just improve content for Ferdan Blackstone. Actually, this Ferdan Blackstone is special Blackstone to enhance ship equipment, especially for any ship below Karak. That you can get this Ferdan Blackstone by exchange level 1 barter item. And in future to get this Ferdan Blackstone, you still need level 1 barter item. But you can exchange it directly to any exchange NPC at Rubinia, Rovinia, and Lavinia at same location. So you didn't need to exchange it to become certificate anymore. And also some buff for daily quest. Especially to get blueprint for Everia Frigate or Sailboat that you can get this daily quest from Villa Berto Falasi at Port Eperia. And this update buff will increase blueprint that you get from one piece to become five pieces every day. So you can get this blueprint more faster to craft your frigate or sailboat. And then in future, they will move any barter quest that located on Aquila Island move to Ilia Island. So by this future update, Rafikel NPC at Aquila Island will not offer you this daily barter quest. Instead that you can get this daily barter quest on Ilia Island. And this is any new barter quest that you can do every day from Ilia Island. Actually, this is same quest. They just move this quest from Aquila Island to Ilia Island so you can get it more easy without selling more further. And all these barter quest that already move to Ilia Island, you can get it on Ilia Island, especially on this Dario NPC, Wharf Manager NPC on Ilia Island. And then daily quest from this Dario NPC. Also got buff that previously you only can get one piece. Explorer compass part. In future they will improve this reward to become you can get level 1 barter item box and 20 pieces crow coin. And then another selling content that got improved is about sudden quest that you can get from exploring on some island using your sailor from your ship. That they will increase probability to get this exploration quest. When you exploring some island using your sailor to become double than before. And also they just improve some reward from this exploring quest. 
and more detail about this reward, you can check on this table, and you can check this table on this video description. But summarize for this reward, at least you can get more crow coin and also some material to help you to craft your ship. And then they also change some transport item quests. That previously you can get this quest from Robinia NPC, they just move it to Croix NPC at Velia City. That you need to transport it to Ilia Island. And then they also add new quests from Dario NPC, Wharf Manager at Ilia Island, that you need to transport some item from him to Oquila A Island. And then some chance for any sea monster, they just fix some issue for any sea monster to become more active than before, and also they will change supply box that you can get from Margoria Pirate Fleet when you defeating Margoria Ghost Ship to become bound to character. Actually, about the supply box, this is special item that will give you 150 pieces ballot for your ship. And then in future, if you check your ship status, you can see this icon to see detail information material to upgrade your ship. So you can see this total upgrade material for your ship anywhere without need to go to Wharf Manager NPC. And next content about future chains for some monster. First about Land of Morning Light boss. In future, they will make the Songaxi boss to become more easy than before by deleting some attack pattern and also change it to become more easy than before. And then about Cyclop Monster Zone for Dekia Lantern. In future, they will reduce frequency to spawn this baby Gargoles. And also they just change some trash item for this trash loot, so you can distinguish it more easy with another item. And next some buff for Padix Island. In future, if you grinding on this Padix Island, this is Pirate Island that have recommended 270 AP. In future, this trash loot, they will buff it from 2 until 3 pieces to become 2 until 4 pieces. And also you can get Red Coral Earring when defeating any monster on Padix Island. And next, some chance on Velia City. In future, they will improve this Velia City, especially for fishing location, that they will add two stair at this location and on this location. And then they will remove table on this area, so you have more space and more accessible when moving on this Velia City. And next, about solo dungeon attraction Yolunakea. In future, they will add some tutorial when you need to finish this color or puzzle. So for new player, you can more easy get instruction how to do to finish this puzzle. And more detail about this Yolunakea dungeon, especially for solo mode, you can follow this guide for more detail info to finish any puzzle on this area. And if you need some guide to finish this attraction dungeon, you can check my special playlist about this attraction guide that I already put link for this playlist on this video description. Okay, next about Not War and Seeds War. In future, they will improve preparation for your guild to be prepared to join Not War and Seeds War. And they will reduce time to prepare your new guild to can access any feature during Not War and Seeds War more faster than before. And to reducing preparation time to make your guild ready to enter Not War and Seeds War, they will add quality of life feature for mass production any guild item, especially to craft elephant guild. And this mass production guild item, in future you can purchase this special guild item, Guild Old Moon Region, that you can purchase it using 10,000 guild fund for each piece. And function for this Guild Old Moon Region, you can combine it with this item, to produce 50 item at once. And any item that you can produce using this mass production feature, this is any list item that you can mass produce on your guild house. And also in future, they will change crafting guild item material to become more easy than before. Rather than you need special item to craft it, they will replace it with blackstone powder. And also to get Kadri elephant, that you need to catch baby elephant they will reduce spawn time for this baby elephant from 1 hour to become 30 minute. And in future, this baby elephant, you can upgrade it directly to become Kadri elephant. And if you already have gold certification for Valencia elephant, you can get special quest from Yan NPC at Valencia City to get this Kadri elephant registration certificate. So this is like upgrading your Valencia elephant to become Kadri elephant. And in future, when you register this Kadri Elephant from its certificate, you can get this Kadri Elephant skill 
five skill at once after it's born that previously you only can get three skill so by this update you didn't need to train your cadre elephant anymore and then some improvement for tier one not war in future they will reduce this maximum waiting time if your character die from 60 second to become 30 second only and because of this update for tier 1 not war, in future recovery center cannot be built on tier 1 not war. And minimum resurrection waiting time still same as before, 10 second only. Okay, next in future they will unify material to repair any not war and siege war building. To become you only need this polystone. And durability that recover by repairing using this polystone is 1% for building HP. And this unified repair material for any not war and siege war building, you only need one piece polystone per repair. So this is more easy to prepare repair material during not war and siege war. And then about mon recovery function from supply depot, in future you can use this building as table keeper that you can recover and revive your dead mount. And then in future they will add some quests. To give some training experience using Seeds War Weapon that you can find this quest at Northern Guard Camp near Hedel City that located on this area on map at north of Hedel City. And function for this quest, this is just to give tutorial how to operating any not war and Seeds War Weapon like Ballista, Flame Tower, Cannon, and etc. So any new player who never operate this Ballista, Flame Tower, or Cannon you can ask your guildmate to do this questline at Northern Guard Camp to learn how to operate this siege weapon. And then in future this black man rope at Velia City, you cannot use his service 15 minutes before Not War and Conquest War is starting. And this feature will unavailable on Not War and Siege War server. Okay, next some chance when you registering your horse or worker on market. In future after you register your worker or horse, on market, in future this horse and worker will be displayed on horse market and worker market 10 minutes after registration or the announce and this registered horse and worker only can be cancelled 15 minutes after announcement. And next about season character creation coupon, they just mentioned they will provide this season character creation coupon and this season character creation coupon you can check it when you on character selection window. And function for this season character creation coupon is to create your seasonal character for this season new mechanic that I explain about this season new mechanic on this video. You can check it for more detail. And if you have this season character creation coupon, you can create seasonal character. And the good news, this season character creation coupon only will consume if you already complete seasonal content and graduated for its character. So by this information, you can freely delete your seasonal character without worry to consume this season character creation coupon. Because once again, this season character creation coupon only can be consumed after you doing graduation process. And you can hold up to 5 seasonal character creation coupon at once. And you can use it anytime. But same as before, you only can have one seasonal character on your account in one time. And they will announce more detail about the season character creation coupon at special GM note for any official website for its region server. So once again to make sure you know about how it's work for this season new mechanic, you can check on this video. And as I already explained previously on Black Desert Weekly News at end August 2023, I already expect Prebis will distribute this season character creation coupon at 13 September 2023. And more detail why I mentioned this date, you can check on this video. And for any other minor fix and change, I think all of this not to a big deal. Okay, that's all future update of Black Desert World that Prebis already announced at, at September 2023. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Snot, Soren, Alt, Afrilka, Elfamilia, Drunken Video, Jeff, S. Gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. 
And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching, see you next time.